Hi, this is Charles Alvarez. Today I'm going to share with you the top five ways to completely explode the amount of leads that your business is generating. And what I'm talking to you about is something called the marketing equation. Now, the marketing equation is being used by companies around the United States and it's completely exploding the amount of leads that that business is generating using the exact same mediums, but just trying to position the marketing message in such a manner that makes sense to the audience that it's actually going to. So I want to talk to you about the, the four components of the marketing equation. Component number one is you have to interrupt your audience. If you do not interrupt your audience, they're never going to find you and they're not even going to care. And the way that you interrupt them is you have to take advantage of the fundamentals of the way people buy. And the fundamentals are is that people buy for two main reasons. Number one is to add pleasure. Number two is to run away from pain, meaning, okay, for example, if you are in the air conditioning business, you want to be able to create a way to advertise to say, hey, you're tired of this crazy summer heat or this crazy winter heat or what have you, and be able to market to that. Once you've interrupted them, once you've got their actual attention, then what has to happen is you have to engage them even further. So, for example, you know, for example, if you're the, uh, a CPA firm, the second part of that would say, are you tired of people making mistakes on your taxes? Learn five steps now on to make sure that the next tax return that you file is is filed accurately and it's filed with the max amount of tax refunds as you possibly can. So that's the second part of the engagement process. The third thing is you have to be able to educate your target market. So many people completely avoid this and they use the same jargon that all their competitors do, which is we're the cheapest, we offer the best service, and we have the best quality. Well, that really is not true because you didn't go out there into your entire competition of database and find out exactly what the price your competitors were charging, exactly what type of technicians they have, and exactly what type of service they have. So that really doesn't appeal to the target market once you've gathered their attention. So what I would say is when it comes to this part of what you're trying to accomplish, which is the education piece, is what you're really trying to do is educate them on what differentiate yourself from all your competition. I was working with a... Um, moving company and they went from 73 leads a month to 993 leads a month because they put into their body of their advertising the fact that they are bonded the fact that they are insured and the fact that they take care and wrap every single piece of furniture they have and they basically guarantee that your furniture will be delivered in exactly the same condition that it was packed up that is an incredible value proposition to give to your target market so you have to really find out what it is that differentiate yourself from all the other ones and then the last thing is offer so Get this, you do the work of interrupting, you do the work of engaging, and then you educate your audience. And so many of these ads that I come across don't do anything to actually get them to buy or to get anything from you. Now, typically when you first are interrupting in marketing, the whole purpose of marketing is to generate calls into your business. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, that you would expect people to buy from you the very first time that they hear about your ad. Instead, what I would say is I would offer a free report or like a free estimate if you're in the contracting business. For example, if you're in the contracting business, call us now for a free estimate. Or if you're in the moving business, uh, call us now to find out how your next move can be actually easy and your furniture can actually make it there in one piece. Or if you're in the service business, call us now to find out ways that we can provide you whatever service you have or for example if you're a CPA the top seven mistakes that people make in filing their own taxes what that does is that shows credibility it shows that you know what you're talking about and the most important thing is they can actually understand what it is that you do they can kind of experiment with your product before they decide to take the next step with you so does your marketing interrupt the audience in other words does it grab their attention Number two, once you grab their attention, do you engage them even further to get them interested in what differentiates you, which is number three, which is educate. Number four is once you've done the, t the first three is you have to be able to give them an offer. And it has to be a low risk or no risk offer. As a matter of fact, if it's a no risk offer, like a free report or a free estimate or a free consultation, those are even better because you want to completely eliminate, eliminate the risk equation from your target market. Hope that this was helpful for you, and I look forward to our next segment, which should be in a, should be in a couple days. Have a good day. Bye-bye.